Pit kits, pit kits, pit kits. Today on Slot Valley Racing, we're talking about Auto World's new deluxe pit kits. The pit kits come in three different styles. They come in the Thunder Jet 500. They come in the Extraction, which we'll be focusing on today. And they also come in a four gear. Not only will we be doing a build, but I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to build this chassis. Before we move on, I'd first like to say thank you to all my subscribers. I think you're gonna enjoy today's show. Not only am I gonna show that anybody can be an HO hobbyist, Thanks to Auto World and their new line of deluxe pit kits. But I'm going to build this car upside down just to prove that anybody can build this car and be an HO hobbyist. I'm extremely excited to get this show going. Let's get her on the road. So here's the extraction pit kit in all its glory. It's actually quite a nice setup. The only thing I really wish is that they would have left the windshield out of the car and the hood scoop as well. Otherwise, this is pretty fantastic. All right, let's get into this. All right, so now that we've assembled the tools for the build, ah, I'm just kidding. Auto World's made it so easy. The only thing you're really gonna need is one of these, if you have it. It'll just make life easier. It's a pair of tweezers. All right, let's get into this. So not only have I bought so many of these extraction pit kits for myself, but what I'm gonna do for Christmas is I'm gonna give all my family members one and they can all build them. And we'll get together for a race night and I'll record that and let you all know how it went. For now, I really think every slot car HO hobbyist should have one of these or a few of these for that matter. So here we are, I've taken off the cover. Just for sanity reasons, I'm gonna put all the small parts in it right now because I'm that guy that's gonna be digging into a extraction pit kit, a normal one, just to get a spring. I've already had to with this one. Okay, so what I've done here is I've separated the pickup springs, which are a little bit longer than the commutator springs. And I've also brought the commutator brushes out of the package. They're gonna end up getting lost as well. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the commutator springs to the center holes in the chassis. So they'll be going here and here. Then we'll be putting in the commutator brushes, flat side up. Okay, so there we have it. The next thing we'll be doing is we'll be putting the white magnet 
in the front, white down, and we'll be putting the red magnet in the rear, red down. There we go. And the red one in there. Uh, take care of the red one. Make sure they're seated properly. And there we go. I'd love to show you the bottom side, but everything would fall out at this point. Okay, now I'll be adding the idler gear onto the gear plate. But before I do that, I'm just going to put a dab of oil right on the shaft of the gear. Just right there. Okay. Let me try and find the gear setup. There we go. Just gonna give it a little spin. Make sure the armature is turning properly. And now I'm gonna give it a little oil right here. And just a tad right here. All right. All right, now we're gonna insert the gear plate into the tabs near the front of the car. Just like that. Very nice. Give a little spin with my hand just to make sure everything's still moving and it looks just fine. There we go. Next thing we're gonna do is slide this retainer clip onto the body over the idler gear. just clips over there we go once again give her another little spin now if you feel like the gears aren't turning like they should you could have a problem with your clip here it could have a little too much of a bow here holding the gear down too tight and not allowing it to turn properly keep that in mind when you're building this and you're testing it out on the track. Or on my case, we're gonna take it to the dyno. Okay, so now we're gonna put the shoes on. They're just gonna go underneath these slots right here next to the cups. In these little cups is where the springs are gonna go. Okay, there we go. It's time for the tires. Get the rears on first, I guess. There we go. Okay, so here's a little tip. If you're having problems getting your tires on, I know this might sound weird, but just use, just lick your finger and just rub Rub it on the uh, mag a little bit, and you'll be able to slide the rubber on a lot easier. And then finally, we'll put the guide pin in. Huh. Wow. There you have it. I don't really think this can get any easier to tell you the honest truth. I just built a whole HO car with no help and the only tools I used was a pair of tweezers. And really, you don't need those either. 
We're gonna go to the dyno today. And we're gonna put it up against two other extraction chassis. One that came in my racing rigs. Actually, they both came in the racing rigs. So we're gonna test two racing rigs. One came in a set, one came by itself. And here it is. I gotta tell you, I'm extremely impressed. Auto World did a really great job. These cars are fantastic. It was a fun build. Anybody could do it. And I'm gonna do it upside down. But first, we're going to the dyno. All right, let's get it on the dyno. There we go. We'll let it warm up a little bit. Oh, let's try that again. Straighten out the wheels. So that was the chassis I just built. It was making about 280. Okay, so I've taken the extraction chassis out of the crunch truck. Okay, let's test the Lowe's chassis. Not overly smooth, but it is performing quite well. Oh, did I just see 290? And there we have it. Oh, looks like we got almost a flat tire going on there. run it with the shell on for a moment then we'll take it to the track stay tuned to the second installment of the deluxe pit kit build series Thunderjet Ultra G is next where I turn this 1970 Ford Mustang into the iconic Ford Falcon of the Mad Max series. All right, well, let's turn some laps. Sounds really nice. I really like these deluxe extraction pit kit builds. Woo! Damn. Oh, let's try to put them on the track. Oh boy. Oh, we have power. I've got to say, I really enjoyed building this deluxe extraction pit kit by Auto World. I'm glad I bought more of them. 
They're really fun to build. In turning laps, I found that the car was actually really smooth and drives really nice. The shell is a great touch. In future episodes, I will be painting it. But for now, as stated, I will be building this chassis upside down just to show how easy it is to build. Unfortunately, that will be for the next video. I'm out of time for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Dan. Get your heart racing.